Hello everyone. So I'm exceptionally happy to show you the Ting and Meeting platform. As you can see on the left hand side, we have the Ting platform where I am actually uh, recording myself and I've got my video there. Of course, I'm not the most handsomest of fellows to look at, but uh, this is what I got to work with. So bear with me. Um, anyway, uh, you might see a little bit of delay in the sound because the OBS which I'm recording my screen with is also delayed on the um, video itself of the live stream, but this is actually live. And then, of course, I have a second OBS, which is the Tings OBS, which also has a delay. So we have like a triple delay, which we are trying to work with. So I do apologize if it does not seem like real time, but it is real time. And if you do see like frames not being 100%, um, it is really 100% because from what I can see compared to the OBS that I'm recording my screen from, there is always a delay. So anyway, let's get right into it. So first things first, this is the serverless peer-to-peer video streaming and calling platform of the meeting platform itself. Now, on the left hand side, I'm in the call itself on the live server. And here at the bottom, when I click, I've got the OBS, of course, it's just going to give a little bit of a tutorial there. But here is actually the OBS where I can set up my scenes, I can add my sources, I can add whatever I need to add. Now, this does seem laggy on the OBS, I do repeat it, but um, actually it's real time from what I can see it on my screen itself. Now, uh, first things first, I'm going to show you that it is real time. I'm going to click on this source right over here and then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to move it around. I will take the second source. I will make it a little bit smaller. I will move it around. And of course, you can see here, here is a little bar, which has actually got bring to front, send to back, lock it, uh, hide it, delete it. And of course, then you can move the bar around with this little toggle here. So, Basically, to explain to you what is the most amazing and phenomenal feature, apart from being serverless and apart from being a peer-to-peer -peer and apart from being borderless and apart from being decentralized, this platform is not only a video recording, a video calling and a video streaming platform, it's actually a full communications platform. And... What we have done here is we have built everything in a web-based environment. As you can see, I'm here in my browser and I'm actually doing the video streaming and the OBS and the calling and everything in one. But what we have achieved recently, and this is extremely exciting for us, is we achieved not only to have private videos in DRM, which is the same as what Netflix and um, uh, YouTube and various other platforms are using, but the differentiator is actually watermarking the pixels of the actual video being streamed or that the video which you will upload onto the Ting platform itself but we didn't keep it only to watermarking. What we did is, is we actually attached your video, which you watermark to your CorePass ID. And that watermark is fully embedded with your CorePass ID, making it what we refer to as a digital attribute or a digital asset. Now we see video content, not as content, but as assets. And that means we see it as your IP, your rights, your protection as the contributor of the content and the viewers that want to view it, if you grant them permission, whether, it, of course, if it is 
a private video that you only want to grant certain people permission, you can do that through this platform and it's fully GDPR compliant, but also fully compliable with copyright infringement. Now, the interesting part is when I log into my platform, now, of course, there is a hybrid solution. You don't have to have the core pass to log in, but of course you will be limited to certain usage. But if you have the core pass and you are a content contributor, then you can protect your asset or your IP or your content through this platform by if someone wants to share your video in a playlist or uh, in some way which they are monetizing on their platform with their viewers, you can actually earn royalty rights from it because of your watermark, your core pass ID and your granted permission of a particular video which is your IP right. And that's exactly what is extremely exciting because not only is it just copyright and having your core pass ID, but it's linked to the blockchain and you can fingerprint this video with your identity in the blockchain and it is a proven ledger and a proven identity that this IP belongs to you. And that makes it an entirely unique platform. There is so much more that we can talk about this platform about, but I want to save some face of the live stream. I want to show you that this is working. And I really want to tell you that this is a really unique platform in itself. Now to prove that it is actually live, I have Michael sitting here right behind me. He's going to walk in. Hey Mike. Hi, how are you everybody? That's my dad, by the way. And so. I can say that you want to make a good NFT, start making your videos because this is a real NFT. Real NFT, meaning it is backed by views, by monetizable value of uh, your IP rights and at the same time, of your income streams, which you can put all three together and it can be a true monetizable and a true NFT that has a true value behind it. That is unique. So I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, everyone. Wash your hands and we look forward to speaking to you soon.